It's my pleasure to be presenting my projects regarding interprofessional education workshops for continuous professional development for healthcare practitioners. Why is this topic important? Because of the complexity nature of patients' health, which requires effective collaboration between healthcare providers. What was done? A two days online webinar uh, was conducted under the name of Anticoagulation, Think, Pair, and Share. The curriculum was designed by a cardiologist, intensivist, and a clinical pharmacist, and tailored according to the registered participants' specialties. It was conducted using Zoom platform, in which we used the breakout rooms and the instant polling options to conduct an interactive team-based learning format. Day one was composed of two parts. The first part was 10 MCQs and polls in which the participant was asked to vote individually, then think in pairs and discuss it in groups and re-vote re again. And this was followed by three educational sessions regarding uh, new oral anticoagulants. And day two was followed by, um, was designed based on a case scenario of three different visits for the same patient each is tackling a different point of new oral anticoagulants used and discussed in the same TBL format. 18 participants actually attended both day one and day two, and they were asked to complete an evaluation survey for their feedback on this experience. The first section, uh, it was the survey was composed of four sections. The first two sections was regarding program evaluation and instructors feedback. And the, all, most participants uh, replied as they strongly agreed uh, for the criteria they was, were asked for. The third section, interprofessional education and the core of the questionnaire, uh, I was really glad to find that 100% of them found that and they strongly agreed uh, about that learning with other professionals will make them more effective healthcare team members, will increase their ability to understand clinical problems and would improve uh, working in relationship and collaborative practice. In addition to positive feedbacks in the open-ended questions, you can uh, have a look at them, but they all, uh, all, they all enjoy, enjoy the experience. Um, the limitation is that uh, different specialities were not equally represented and um, that we did not measure the impact on change in behavior and organization of practice. But at the end, we conclude and we can say that work-based interprofessional education for healthcare providers is essential to compare perspectives, to share knowledge, to learn about each other roles and responsibilities, to explore ways to collaborate more closely. To ensure sustainability of such programs, we need the enforcement from teaching organizations and healthcare settings. Thank you.